Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Wednesday, March the 21st. It's year two, it's week four in Lent, and it's week six in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verses 121 to 144. Genesis chapter 50, verse 15 to 26. And the Song of Moses, Exodus chapter 15, beginning at verse 1. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I have done what is right and just. Let me not be oppressed. Psalm 119. I have done what is right and just. Let me not be oppressed. Vouch for the welfare of your servant, lest the proud oppress me. My eyes yearn for your saving help and the promise of your justice. Treat your servant with love and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me your knowledge. Then I shall know your will. It is time for you to act, for your law has been broken. That is why I love your commands more than finest gold while I rule my life by your precepts and hate false ways. Your will is wonderful indeed, and therefore I obey it. The unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple. I open my mouth and I sigh as I yearn for your commands. Turn and show me your mercy. Show justice to your friends. Let my steps be guided by your promise. Let no evil rule me. Redeem me from those who oppress me, and I will keep your precepts. Let your face shine upon your servant, and teach me your decrees. Tears stream from my eyes, because your law is disobeyed. God, you are just indeed, and your decrees are right. You have imposed your will with justice and with absolute truth. I am carried away by anger. For my foes forget your word. Your promise is tried in the fire and is the delight of your servant. And though I am weak and despised, I remember your precepts. Your justice is eternal justice and your law is truth. Though anguish and distress have seized me, I delight in your commands. The justice of your will is eternal. If you teach me, I shall live. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I have done what is right and just. Let me not be oppressed. The lesson is from the book of Genesis, chapter 50, beginning at verse 15. Realizing that their father was dead, Joseph's brother said, What if Joseph still bears a grudge against us and pays us back in full for all the wrong that we have done to him? And so they approached Joseph, saying, Your father gave this instruction before you, he died. Say to Joseph, I beg you, forgive the crime of your brothers, and they did the wrong they did in harming you. Now, therefore, please forgive the crime of your servants of the God of your father. And Joseph wept when they spoke to him. And then his brothers also wept and fell down before him and said, We are here as your slaves. But Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid. Am I in the place of God? Even though you intended to do harm to me, God intended it for good, in order to preserve a numerous people as he is doing today. So have no fear. I myself will provide for you and your little ones. In this way, he reassured them, speaking kindly to them. And so Joseph remained in Egypt, he and his father's household, and Joseph lived 110 years. Joseph saw Ephraim's children of the third generation. The children of Machir, son of Manasseh, were also born on Joseph's knees. And then Joseph said to his brothers, I am about to die. 
but God will surely come to you and bring you up out of this land to the land that he swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. So Joseph made the Israelites swear, saying, When God comes to you, you shall carry up my bones from here. And Joseph died being 110 years old, and he was embalmed and placed in a coffin in Egypt. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Let this evening be holy, good, and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. That we may be pardoned for our sins and offenses. That there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in your church, and peace in the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear. And and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. The Song of Moses. I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider you have thrown into the sea. You are my strength and my might, and you have become my salvation. You are my God, I praise you. My ancestors, God, I exalt you. You are a mighty warrior, and Yahweh is your name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army you cast into the sea. His picked officers were sunk in the Red Sea. The floods covered them. They went down into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O God Most High, glorious in power. Your right hand, O God Most High, shattered the enemy. Who is like you among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in splendor, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand, and the earth swallowed them. In your steadfast love you led the people whom you redeemed, and you guided them by your strength to your holy abode. You brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your own possession, the place, O God, that you made your abode, the sanctuary that your hands have made, and you reign forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.